Welcome back aboard the Halcyon, the Star Wars Galactic Cru uh, Star Cruiser. We are in a Galaxy Class Suite this time. This is one step above the standard cabins, if you will. Let's do the big turn. Let's do the reveal. There you have it. As you can see, much larger uh, than the other cabin, right? Because this is just one room. There's going to be a whole other room that way. We're going to get to, but we got to start down here. Uh, first of all, if you didn't see the other tour of the standard cabin, you should go watch it, but I'll go over some of these things again. Um, so instead of the do not disturb and yes, come in and do housekeeping, uh, we have some buttons here, which uh, we have this for do not disturb. And I'm not going to hit that one because it probably calls somebody maybe. I don't know. Uh, but it has this cute little BB-8 style droid. And it's very cute. Um, the light switch is maybe... Not as much, kind of normal, but you have a main that'll shut everything off. You have the light right here above us. And then, uh, so we have a little more, a uh, little more, uh, I don't wanna say glassware, it's not glass. We have a little more cupware uh, than the other room did in that there is these uh, all metal wine glasses. Uh, there's also four of the cups, obviously more people likely staying in this room uh, and uh, the bottle with the little Chandrilla Starline logo sticker. I'll try to zoom on. It's hard in the wide angle. You lose a little quality on the video, but I want you guys to see a, a broader view of the room. Uh, I like this themed light back here. That's kind of fun. Oh my. All right, I wiped my lens a little bit. I noticed it was a little smudge, probably from all the excitement coming in to the Star Cruiser, but let's get in on this light here. Look at that. That's fun. Um, we've got some outlets up here, uh, faucet, sink. There is uh, just some storage room under the sink there. Nothing actually there. Uh, there is a little cubby there with more outlets and the recycling and trash is there. We have our cooling supply unit. Oh, look at this. They have stocked ours with two bottles of the Galaxy's Edge Dasani water. That's very nice. Very nice of them. All right. Um, I do like the flooring here. They've done a rubber flooring just around the, the little bar area. Uh, you know, it's nice. Don't have to worry about ruining the carpet, right? Not that you care, it's not your carpet. Um, this, don't expect to see this. This is just a little gift package that was left in the room. Um, maybe it's because it's the first cruise. Maybe it's because we're with uh, some club members. I don't really know. Uh, but there's all sorts of little themed treats here, and it comes in this case, and it's very cool. Uh, also, for the first cruise, they're giving us these coins, and as well, um, the Halcyon Legacy press issue of the comic. I guess they had some left over from the press event. My favorite thing about this room, there are, I don't, I can't think of many rooms I've ever stayed in at Disney hotels around the world where there's sort of a themed element like this some big cool prop that's like something you would see in the land and so there is sort of this venus fly trappy like uh plant behind glass and it's fully dimensional it's beautifully beautifully put together it has lights it has markings it's really cool it's just a really cool touch uh we've got two stools over here don't worry, they're not attached. You can move those. And then even some outlets by the stools. It's thoughtful if you want to sit there and charge stuff while you have a drink. Um, the vanity here, because there's so much more floor space, they gave you a stool with the vanity. Um, and a, it's a bigger counter, too, which is great. Um, and light switch for the vanity, some outlets. I like it. I like... Uh, um, and honestly, it wasn't it wasn't a huge price jump once you're already in for a regular cabin. To get this one was not astronomically more money. Um, you know, you gotta see what works for you. But this is it's nice to have the extra space. Okay, so we have our closet up here. Yeah, it's very different actually. Um, so there is a set of that Chandrilla Starline bedding that uh, comes with the bunk beds in the other room. Uh, I see a pillow. We've got. The safe, which has a custom logo uh, sticker thing on it. Uh, good amount of storage up here. Close these up. All right, good thing we finished, because then, then the merchandise came. <laughs> the rest of the team was at the store. 
Um, and while they were photographing all the items and videoing, they decided also, you know, buy stuff. I gave them a shopping list for me. You guys know how I am. Anyway, let's let's continue on with the room. So here we are in living room. This is also going to be someone's bedroom. We're going to have to move these bags. Like I explained in the other video, usually I try to put the bags outside. You really can't do that here. The hallways have a lot of foot traffic as everyone's checking in at once because it's a fake cruise. Uh, and also, the uh, it's white glove service, so the bags were here. They were already in the room when we got here, which is awesome. That's great. Check in, and when they take the bags, unload you from the car, and then bring it to the room. A plus service, really, really well done. Okay, so there is uh, a really long sofa uh, here, which is great. Everyone can sit and enjoy the television, which is up here, there it is. Uh, the television throughout the trip is gonna tell us where we are in the galaxy, in the Star Wars galaxy, not the real galaxy. They got this shiny table. Uh, it's, I'm glad they've utilized a lot of space for storage. What's really funny, what's really funny about this unit, this is absolutely the unit from the new Contemporary Incredibles rooms. It's themed more appropriately here, but when I opened that cabinet, I had a flashback that this is the, I believe this is the exact shape and layout of that piece in the contemporary. It's really funny. Um, but it's good that there's storage under these end table. Uh, two standard, two USB outlets, that's great. I'm really digging these rooms. They're really fun inside. Um, this isn't gonna fold out into anything. This is just a sofa, just a sofa. Uh, you, if you wanna put a drink up there, you can. Got another one of these here. This one's actually not storage, or does it open up? No. No, I guess there's something integral to the room there. So that one doesn't open. Um, on the other, in the standard cabin, this pulls out and there's a table. Obviously, we don't need that. We have a table. And we also have this. We even have another little table here, these end tables. So we didn't need that here. But here's the window. I'm going to back up a few steps, show you guys the window. The viewport out into space. Yeah, it's got this weird, there's this weird glare thing to it, which I don't know if it's to hide the edges of the screen, if that's the idea. I don't know. I'm not blown away by this. It definitely feels like a screen. And honestly, in video, it's way less clearer than it is to my eyes. Um, but yeah, there's activity out there. Um, I noticed in the other room that we saw the transports bringing guests onto the ship because we're still in that first phase of the cruise where people are, you know, getting on the transports and coming aboard the Halcyon. Uh, I'll now show you how to open and close your viewport. This is fun. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a little show. Uh, close viewport. Some beeping, some lights. And there it comes. The lights go out. And then we're gonna let that red light stop. I think that means that'll tell me when the process is complete. Now it's complete. Hit that to open the viewport. It's letting us know it's gonna open up all the lights. All the lights turn on. Open up. There you go. Very neat, very neat. Okay, so TV. We're gonna get to this bed at some point, but I have a feeling it's gonna look the same as the one on the other side, so maybe we'll just do that later, we'll add it in. Okay, we got this cool, spacey looking chair, spacey looking table. Uh, you know, usually I'd go to the bathroom at this point, but since we're in this room, uh, do, you guys, do you guys wanna open this? I think we should open those. That'll slide open, and uh, here we go, and here we go. I'm never gonna get up. We're on the floor now. I've crawled under this space. You might be asking why. Well, this is, there you go. Because it's a secret tunnel. We're taking a secret tunnel into the other bedroom. I wish someone was filming me coming through and blackmailing me with the video. Cool. All right. We're up. That's right. I love this touch. This didn't need to exist, but it's so cool. 
there's just a little tunnel that goes through both rooms. Um, it's great. It's really great. This is going to be, well, let's take a look at the room first. Okay, this is more like a standard cabin in this room. Obviously, some things are different, but there are a lot of elements uh, of the standard cabin in here. The lights aren't on in here, I just noticed also. Where is the light switch for this room? It's not outside. Should be right here, no? Uh, the big light's definitely not on. I'm looking for a switch. Oh, maybe it's on here. This is probably it. There you go. That's very hidden, not labeled. I like that kind of discovery, though. I don't think that's a design flaw. I think it's it's kind of cool. You're learning about the world you've entered, right? I'm sure, I'll cover for them. Uh, <laughs> so now the lights are on in here. Nice bright room. Um, I I think it was it was still what's funny is obviously for video, but uh, with just the reading lights and the bed light on and the viewport light, it's it's a nice mood in here. Pop open some wine. Kind of romantic. Cruise amongst the stars. Very, very cute. What is going on out there? Oh, it's a reflection of the room. I thought there was some big brown ship outside. Okay. So there is a TV in here. We've got the bed. Got the end tables. All the things we saw in the standard cabin. And this does bring back this guy. That does bring back this table that comes out with the little rolling stools. So those are in here. You've got so many tables, though. I don't know why you'd want to eat at that tiny table and you have a bunch of real table space in there but i mean there's no re there's nothing else there there's no reason not to have it it's good to have options same thing same type of viewport i don't know if we ran if we run back and forth real quick will the view even look different is it mirrored no no it's the exact same view which if you do this real quick, it's going to ruin the illusion. Don't do it. So don't do that. Just don't do it. <laughs> I love the Chandrilla Starline bedding. It's a great touch. I miss that we lost bed runners and things like that at all the resorts at Walt Disney World. So it's nice to have them back. Um, we've got this fantastic wall unit, which uh, this is where we're going to talk to D309 eventually. Different video. We've got the room phone hidden in here. We've got our climate control hidden in here. That light switch I almost couldn't find is in here. It's a cool unit. It's a cool unit. Little end tables. These are always great with charging. One USB, two standard outlets. Uh, this really cool reading light that comes out of the wall is there. Uh, there is a bed here. So this is going to be the same on the other side, too. It's a little heavy. Okay, cool. Ooh. It's hard to do these with one hand sometimes. All right. We have the bedding for this in that in the closet, as you know. I'm sure the other bedding for this one is in here and the one in the other closets for that room. So, yeah. There's the bed that folds out of the wall. Pretty standard for a Disney hotel at this point. There's our TV. We are, uh, we're between, I guess we're at Chandrilla, uh, which is uh, a short bit away from Coruscant, according to the TV. We'll play with the TV in another video, too. Uh, so we got the tunnel. We talked about that. We've got the bed. we got this great plush headboard. I like that. The rooms are fun. They feel like Star Wars. I, I have to say, they do feel like Star Wars. The hallways feel like Star Wars, as you saw at the beginning of the video. It, it feels like Star Wars to me. More so than Galaxy's Edge, even, I will say. This this feels maybe prequel Star Wars, but it feels like Star Wars. All right, so we have another cool, interesting closet here. That hits. I am really surprised. That hits that. Huh. Okay, so we open this. No light in here. Uh, yeah, more Chandrilla bedding. Uh, some uh, robes. Pillow, I, I'm surprised, is the robe, the robe's not special, is it? No, I'm really surprised the robes aren't labeled with a logo or something, kind of surprised. These are plastic, I know they want them to be durable, they're, they're, I don't know, maybe they're not fully plastic, maybe that's plastic and this is some other cheap lightweight material, I don't know, you gotta think about durability too, I suppose. There are hotel rooms, are gonna get used a lot by people. Uh, the lighting units on the ceiling are fun. They look good. 
Look at this tips for a successful voyage. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's trying. You are invited to engage while on your voyage. You fully immerse yourself while on your Star Wars adventure. Follow your curiosity and sense of adventure. You determine your own story with characters, which characters help you. <sighs> which characters, <laughs> try this again. Which characters you help, which information you share, and what choices you make chart the course of your adventure, of your voyage. This is your invitation to get involved, explore the ship, introduce yourself to characters, and if you see a curious commotion, feel free to join in. No two adventures are alike. Your adventure is uniquely yours. You may see things that other passengers do not. Sharing information with your fellow passengers is encouraged. As you make choices, your path may diverge from your travel party. If you want to stay together, coordinate your choices. D309 can be reached by pressing the droid link button if you're looking for more uh, conversation about your story. And your Star Wars data pad is in your Play Disney Parks uh, app, is an essential companion to your experience. Your personal itinerary will update throughout your voyage, so check back often. Characters will reach out uh, through the comms. These messages will change throughout your experience based on your choices you make and the characters you befriend. Make sure you have your notifications turned on to get the latest. For more information on setting up your data pad, please visit the passenger services crew members at the atrium by the bridge. There you go. So that'll be on your bed, waiting for you to tell you everything that's going on. Uh, again, on this side, same thing. We've got the really fun TV remote. Isn't that great? Uh, yeah. There is storage room under the beds, which is a thing you're going to need. I couldn't even, the other room was so tight, I didn't even notice it. Um, and you got some Star Wars theming down on this side. What do these doors look like? Let's see. Uh, so these are the. These are the very familiar, uh, uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge notoriously has these like thick wood, cheap doors. Um, they are those same ones, but they are, they have cut shapes into them. So they do look very Star Wars. I will say that they look, they look good here. I don't like them at Animal Kingdom Lodge because they're, they're literally just plain flat doors, but they, they work a little better here. Just a panel. Uh, and then... The bathroom and, and such is over this way. So we're going to cross the hall into here. Oh, not all the lights are on in here. So I'm going to find the switches. That's probably just the mirror, right? Yep. Cool. This is going to be everything else. Great. So we're in. We're in. Double vanity. Wonderful. Nice to have a double vanity. Uh, in this case, of course, I've gone... It's hard to film these back to back because I feel like I'm repetitive. I got to remember some people didn't watch the other tour. Uh, the Chandrilla Starline logo towels, wonderful touch. The H2O products. Obviously, there's some mounted ones. There's the hand soap and the body lotion mounted on the wall here with the Chandrilla logo there and such. Um, I love this little tin. You can buy this up at the store or even on Shop Disney in advance of your trip. And inside this little chandrilla tin. I'm going to try not to dent it. There we go. Inside the little chandrilla tin, we have face cloths and we've got foaming bubble masks and their themed packaging. Even down to the, the example on the back, there is a alien applying the product, which is really great. One of my favorite things. I love, I love little details like that. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, look at that. Hand soap and body lotion on both sides. Cool. Tissues. Where is the, where's the hair dryer? Do we not have a hair dryer here? They might have missed this room. I'm not seeing it down there. Okay. They might have just missed it. That happens sometimes. Sometimes things are missing from some rooms, I guess. Tissues are there. We've got some outlets up here on both sides. Let's take a look at the shower. We do have that same shower door with the cutout at the top. Um, that wasn't going any further for me. That's it. That's closed. So, <laughs> hope you're staying with family. It's also a double. It's a double. 
There is only one bathroom though, so I don't know if people are staying in the other room. I, I guess they assume there's gonna be family staying in here, but given the Star Wars clientele, I don't know that that's necessarily true. So this was an interesting choice then. Um, a dual shower. Um, it's not necessarily any longer than the regular shower. Uh, it's way wider. The, the uh, standard cabin is very narrow. Um, and so we have the mounted, mounted amenities. We have the uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body lotion. There's some towels sitting here. Um, there is the uh, rainfall shower head as well as the adjustable removable shower head. Nice little soap dish up here. Uh, there are your individual controls. Same thing on the other side, obviously. I said it's a double, right? So it's identical on the other side. So you can shower together, you know, create your own adventure. <laughs> All right, can't wait to get bad comments about that. And yeah, so that's everything out here, but we gotta save, we save the best for last. My toilet room. Um, this is, this the toilet room's smaller. It's actually smaller than the, than in the uh, standard cabin. So there's no toilet art, but again, they've done this mirror, this interesting thing where you don't get all the angles this time, but obviously if you want to look at your costume, you know, check out your outfit for the day. You, you get the front view, you can turn here and get the, the side profile. It's very nice. Hey, a little tighter in this one. Um, not having art is fine as long as you have, you have, you have splashes of color, there's tile. There's enough going on here. I might be a little close to the wall, but just do your business and get out. <laughs> toilet, trash can, Chandrilla Starline sticker on the toilet paper, more towels. This one's not branded. There's a shortage of branded towels in this room. Uh, yeah, so there's where you go potty. <laughs> this is the bathroom. I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know why. I don't know why. This is a high pressure day. We got a lot to cover, so I'm a little anxious. Got a lot to do. A lot to do. Um, so yeah, in a separate video we're gonna open. You already saw that opened, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I gotta look at the price difference. I don't have it in front of me. But once you're you're coming all in on this and you're gonna have more than more than three people, especially. I think you need to take a serious look at this. And if this is a once in a lifetime thing and you've saved up enough money, and again, my biggest advice is I'm not gonna tell anyone to get into financial trouble to do this because that is irresponsible and I don't believe in people having debt. I don't believe in that. I think it's a bad idea. That's my lesson for everyone at home. If you can afford to do this, responsibly do this as a fun thing, this is, this is the room to get. This is definitely a big step up from the standard cabin. So that's my advice. If you can afford to do it, do it. If this pushes you over the edge, don't. Do the standard, you know? You'll st you, know, you still have access to everything outside. You gotta look at it the same way people look at Disney Cruise Line, where some people just get those, inside, those interior staterooms and it's because it's for them, it's, it's just a place to sleep. We're gonna enjoy everything on the boat. So it really depends how much time you think you're gonna spend in the room. But I think there's more than enough to do in 48 hours where, um, you know, it may not matter which room type you have. But if I'm going to recommend something for a larger party, it's going to be this Galaxy Suite. So as promised, this bed is the same as the one in the other room. I just wanted to open it. Make sure you can see that it's the same.